from Los Angeles, TraderInsight.com presents Dr. Adrian Manns in the war room and at the helm with today's look at stocks and sectors on the radar. For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and this is Stocks and Sectors on the Radar for Friday, April 24th, 2009. On Thursday, Dow Jones Industrials up 70 and a half to close at 79.5706. We had 1,848 stocks advance, 1,177 decline, and NYSE total volume at 1.56 billion shares. Late day rally moved all the indices higher after really some shaky trading early in the session. S&P 500 finished up 837 to close at 851.92. NASDAQ 100 up 869 at 1344.41 and the NASDAQ comp up 609 to close at 1652.21. Uh, we didn't have much hit by way of the uh, stocks on the radar yesterday. We only had one go, but boy, did it ever move. We had a really nice profit on that. We're going to talk about that in a second, and then we'll talk about two additional setups for Friday's trading. We had three for Thursday. We had AEM, we had TDY, and we had the winner du jour. We had Snap-on Incorporated, ticker symbol SNA. The other two didn't do anything. They just uh, stalled out and reversed course. So no continuation entries on those. But let's have a look at what Snap-on did for us intraday. If you'll recall from Wednesday night's video, we had a 33.03 entry. We had a $33.50 initial profit target. I thought we were going to run into some junk here that was going to hold it up and wound up stalling out just below 33.50. That's even better yet because it gave us uh, uh, gave us some legs once the thing popped up and through that 33.50 mark. And look at it go. It went all the way to $34.60. So we had a dollar extension beyond the initial profit target. Got in all the way down here. No reason at all to get out of this one as it was just climbing higher during the first hour and a half of trading. Now let's take a look at what's on deck for Friday. The kind of trading we saw in the indices on Thursday doesn't usually leave a lot of around the horn setups uh, for the following session. Today's no exception, we have two. We've got a, an industrial in Applied Industrial Technologies Incorporated. This is ticker symbol AIT. This of course is a fastball expansion of range, expansion of volume. Gonna look at something right around 2208, 2210, 2212 maybe. Uh, on Friday on strength in the broader indices with an initial profit target all the way up at $22.58 a share. And the second one we've got is Bemis Incorporated. This is in containers and packaging. It's a materials play. Uh, this is ticker symbol BMS. This one also a fastball expansion of range, expansion of volume. We are looking at a possible entry right around $23.70 a share with an initial profit target up around $24.11. So if you guys like these videos, if you like what you see in here every night, I suggest you get over to TraderInsight.com where we've got videos from four other uh, seasoned trading professionals. We've got Art Collins on futures. We've got Dave Landry on position trading. We have Tom and Corvia on swing trading. And we have my lovely wife, Julie, uh, who handles the extra inning setups that uh, you see in the chapter on extra innings and around the horn and gives a nightly wrap of how we handle the service trades. All good stuff, all free, only at TraderInsight.com. If you have any questions, shoot me an email, adrian at TraderInsight.com. Use protective stops on every trade and have a great trading day on Friday.